lovelies, this is Simsfell and welcome back to Niche Wizarding World with the Spellbook Tribe Reborn. Master Ailey Antler has been doing quite well in the wizarding circle. He got an apprentice himself, the beautiful over here, hold on a second, apprentice Sith, who has great abilities including three collecting and one cracking. She has been keeping the tribe functioning and going, especially keeping our food stores up while we've had some really odd drama happening in terms of dark magic and the such. He has also recently managed to woo the beautiful Master Bay Quara, who is currently expectant with his child and about to give birth as we turn the day. Quite, quite exciting. So I am very happy for him. He's been doing quite well on his own, despite the fact that he actually has terrible abilities. He's got one attack, which means we can't really do much with him. He's good at passing on the knowledge that he learnt himself from the amazing Grand Wizard Ruzale, but apart from that, I think he's resting his hopes both on the new offspring is having and his apprentice. Hopefully, through his teachings, he will leave on a legacy that is greater than what he was able to ever achieve himself. Now, in the previous episode, we also saw the birth, I think, of Daphras. And Daphras is the very first cursed nicheling of the wizarding world which you guys had plenty of suggestions for i think you lovelies suggested that um maybe the cursed nichelings if they do something great are reborn like their souls transfer into a new body and the newest child to be born in the tribe they're kind of like a reincarnation of the cursed nicheling that was one of the things you guys suggested i think another thing was that maybe the cursed nichelings could go off or his not cursed blood, his taint blood. No, what am I saying? That's a different series. Never mind, everyone. He's cursed. He is cursed. <laughs> okay, I'm still thinking about Nish with Ish, but he is actually cursed, so he's got his dark brown gemstones to show that he is the result of dark magic being used on one of our lovely females, unexpected females. So we had that happen, and I think he's actually a child of. He was the child of Bainald, wasn't he? Yeah, he was the child of Bainald and this rogue, this dastardly rogue male. Okay, that is that is not fine, but we have moved on from that and hopefully we'll have nothing but ah, just hope and just better things happening from now on. You never know. We don't know what's in these grasses. The rogue male could still be over here. He might not have drowned himself. He might have crossed. We don't really know. We'll find out. But I think one of the things we discussed in the previous episode was that Grand Wizard Ruzel is going to start making sure that the males actually have a little bit of a ring around the females whenever they travel so that the females are always towards the center of any movement that's happening and the males are towards the outside. And part of that is probably going to be Daphra's. We'll have to see because Daphra's is not going to get trained by anyone because of the fact he's cursed. I feel as though everyone's going to neglect training him. So he's going to grow up uh, isolated. If he's able to do favors somehow, then that is going to be a miracle in itself. But other than that, he's just going to remain the way he is going. But I did say that I think another thing Ruzel would probably implement towards his old age is an alienage. What is an alienage, you guys might be saying? Well, I think Ruzel is thinking that they should quarantine an area of territory that they know they have cleared and they have mapped out, and that should be a place where all the cursed nichelings live. They can have their own little society, but they probably are going to be not allowed to breed, so they can't breed in the wizarding world, that's just not how things work, but at least they will have companionship and they'll be quarantined away from everyone else so that they don't taint uh, all of their pure magic forms and stuff. So I think that's what's happening uh, with Daphra. So he's gonna spend the rest of his days probably collecting food for the rest of the tribe and making sure they're okay, clearing grass, helping in those ways. But also because of the fact that he is cursed, he's gonna have to maintain a distance of one tile from every single nicheling that um, he travels near. So there we go. Okay, we've got that difference going on. We also had the mating of Master Takey and Hila Ilfrak. And hopefully we will get a little personated niche link to continue the healing line. I'm quite excited about that. Uh, Ilfrak, why don't you purr before I forget? Yes, a Grand Wizard Ruzale. He has completed the training of his apprentice. So uh, it wouldn't exactly... Like, it's not... 
I don't want to say it's not necessary for him to be alive because I do enjoy his character quite a bit and I think because of the wisdom that he's managed to pass on to a lot of these niche things and get this wizarding world started, obviously everyone would want him to stay around for as long as possible and I think that is what it's happening. Healer Ilfrak is going to do his duty till the last second, I think. He's definitely not going to neglect Ruzel. Ruzel, meanwhile, is a tad bit frustrated, <laughs> but he can't move around much. So he's going to try digging some stuff up. We don't want him to get his daughter expectant. No, no, no. But Takey has how many days? She's got two days left of a pregnancy, but, and I do think she's going to be moving along with everyone else. So we'll get her moving. Okay, let's come over here along the coast. Also, where is my sheet? I had a little sheet keeping tabs of who was apprenticed to who. So right now we have two. We have Master Eliantla with Apprentice Sith and we have Master Bayquara over here despite her pregnancy is training up her youngest daughter Apprentice Raka, which is quite exciting. And who is Raka the child of? Rock oh, okay. So Eliantla has already had a daughter and I think he's having another one with um, Bayquara, which is quite exciting. We'll find out when the baby's born, but I do think he's actually having another one with Big Quora. We'll have to see how all of that works out. But okay, let's get Bainold. She's gonna collect the berry and I think get moving. Yes. Um, I don't think she wants to look back at her child and see how they're doing. She's just moved on. She has moved on, which is completely okay. Uh, Jelbrina, which Jelbrina? She is 16 days old. When she turns 20 days old, she'll be able to get promoted to the title of master, which is quite exciting. We'll get her to move in this direction. It's very adorable. They've been staying together um, since they've been young. Both big, I mean, all of like Bequara, Araka, and Jelbrina. They've actually been a little bit of a trio since they were quite young. So that's that's nice to see. And Bequara has actually kept these two daughters with her. So from when they were born, she's kept them alongside her as she's traveled and had more children. The other ones who had the toxic body, they've kind of moved on and become more independent nichelings, which is quite interesting to actually see. Okay, let's get these two moving. Sith is going to take out these two grasses, and then her master is going to take that out, move in this direction, and help out Jailbrina. There we go. Nice, so let's get the day moving and see what sort of offspring Bayquara has next. Oh, this is so adorable. You know what? I love Eliantla and uh, Bayquara's mix because they're having the just cutest children. Okay, well, she's not that useful. <laughs> Unfortunately, this one turned out very much like her father. Has pretty much no abilities, but she's actually better than her father because she can collect at least a little bit. So that's good, but she looks adorable. I love her. We need to give her a pretty cool name. So let's have a look at the names list that you guys have helped me uh, concoct. And I think we're going to go with Irem. There we go. Beautiful. Welcome to the family, Irem. That sounds fun. I really like that name. Irem and Raka. Very nice. Oh, look, Raka, you have a bunnel you can hunt. There we go. I think Raka's very excited and she's going to hunt on that bunnel while her mother supervises her. Nice. Okay, let's get Ilfrak to heal up Ruzel. Ruzel has four days left to go. He's got a bit, so he's going to stay around with us for a bit. And we'll get Ilfrak to get moving. He might want to keep up with his mate, who is ready to give birth. Okay, so I think Takey might just have her offspring. Ooh, right up here. She's gonna try, nope, that didn't happen, but I think she's gonna have her offspring right over there. Well, that's quite comfortable and quite nice for everyone. Huh, that's fine. And I don't want her to go too far because if they keep closer together, then they'll be able to a romance again after she's done having this child. So, okay, Ruzale, you're gonna have to make do right over here, boy. You can't go too far. I guess you could hop around a tad bit. You can't go too far because we don't want Ilfrak to um, lose you. He is quite slow, so <laughs> Grandmaster Ruzale, even though he is old, he's very fast and he has to kind of accommodate the younger Ilfrak. 
So, okay, let's get Bainold to get moving. Bainold, you, why don't you come around here? Oh, she she can't fish, but she can definitely grab... Oh, look, Platypus Beak. There we go. She can grab some food over there. We do need to keep an eye on the food stores. We are getting quite low. I'm not comfortable with food that's under 50, especially with the history this tribe has. Um, Daphras, I think Daphras is going to be sent... I don't want him to eat from that because even though he is cursed, I don't think I will force him to do dangerous things like that and um, poison himself. He's not getting punished for being cursed, he's just being isolated for being cursed. So I'll leave that. We'll get Bequara to break this nest and can someone... She cannot get that. Who can get that? Can anyone get that? No. <laughs> No, they cannot. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, we'll get Jailbrina to grab some berries and clear away the grass. And look at mother and daughter, they're so cute! They're so adorable, I love that. That's so cute. Okay, Bequara, why don't you jump all the way here? Oh, there's a poison berry bush. And we'll get your daughter to maybe come play by the sands. She'll come play by the beach next to Master Takey who I think is her half-sister. There we go, yeah, she's gonna play by her half-sister. So that's exciting. And then, let's get Aliantla to move his apprentice along. Um, not gonna collect any of that. Oh, look, he found a nest, nice. I'm sure the females would very much appreciate that. We'll have Sith jump right into the nest. She can clear away these last pieces of grass before they move on. And I do think once they've crossed probably this rock, they might even keep this area, I think, from the rock down here. It'll be known as the Alien Age, perhaps. I think those are the plans that Ruzale is concocting. If he's alive to see this through, then I do think he's probably going to make this entire area the Alien Age. So from the rock down this way, because again, it's got really good natural borders. So we've got a river running through here, and then we've got the ocean and the coast. And it does have a few, or at least one berry bush. It does have one berry bush that um, Daphras can collect from. Hmm, we might even move the alienage to include all of this area. Like where these rocks and the bunny burrow is. Because Daphras can collect nuts, so he can work on that. I think he'll actually head back towards the tree. He'll probably stick by the tree. That makes sense. Okay, well let's turn the day, guys. And... Hopefully, Master Takey has a personality denicheling, so let's see. Oh, yes! Yes! We had a personality denicheling! Okay, we had a baby girl that is personality, so she is automatically a healer. She can choose her little or cast her spells straight from birth, which is exciting. She has three collecting, two attack, and one cracking. Okay, well I'm going to go ahead and give her a beautiful name from the names list and then we will get her to cast her spells. They do it almost accidentally, I think, with the healers. I like to think as children, they're just so potent in magic, they accidentally cast all these spells. So there we go. And I think I'm going to name her Imla. So Imla, welcome to the family. Okay, let's check out her genetics and see what sort of things we want her to cast. Um, I think she's going to cast probably good eyesight and normal hind legs yeah I think we'll go for that so C and H we'll go for wait no that's not what I want normal eyesight and we'll go for normal hind legs there we go because her father is a healer but he's really slow so if she can be a healer and a fast healer that'll be awesome and she's gonna get oops the green gemstone straight from the get-go and she can start using her magic whenever she is able to do that. Quite exciting. Not only that, but we also have little Iram who has grown enough to be taken on as an apprentice. Now, who is she gonna be taken on as? Hmm. Rock is being trained by her mother, Bequara. So Bequara and Aliantla are currently taken, but we have a Bainold, we have Takey. Hmm. Yeah, Ruzel has four days. He's not going to be able to train them up. So I don't. I want him to become a full witch. So I'm going to go for the safer option. Uh, we could have Bainold train her up. 
We could also have a Jailbrina. Oh no, Jailbrina can't because she's a witch. But Takey could, Takey and Banald. I think maybe because Banald is more experienced and who knows, maybe Banald is feeling a little bit maternal but not towards the cursed child that she was forced to have with the dark magic user. Maybe she's gonna take her younger sister Iram under her wing and train her. So I think that's what we're going to do. And I don't think Banal's ever actually trained anyone before. So this should be quite exciting. She's been on her own for quite a while. She was by these berry bushes from when she was quite young. Actually, there were a bunch of berry bushes up here, I think. Yeah, over here. Oh, wow, they've come quite far. She was, she spent much of a childhood over here trying to keep the tribe going and spending time with a few of the older nichelings who passed away and then she moved on. But I think this is the first time Bainold is truly going to be taking on companionship after graduating into being a witch and a master. So this is quite exciting. I think she's definitely going to take on Irem as her apprentice. And Irem can move! Look at her go! Okay, I'll get Bainold to break this nest. And I think Ilfrak is going to heal and then we're going to have Takey coming all the way back here to her mate and then she is going to mate with him. There we go, she's expectant again. So they should be having another child pretty soon, quite exciting. Oh my goodness, Ilfrak! Why have I not been keeping in the water? Look at him move! He can move so well in the water! Okay, we'll take that leech off Ruzael. Ruzale, my boy. Ruzale, my boy. You three are going to be jumping up river. That's what's going to be happening with you guys. Okay. Ruzale, don't go too far. Actually, no, you can go far. Let's take you all the way there. And I think that's pretty cool. Ilfrak can, he can go down into the waters as well. So he's not going to drown. Yay. I think if it's in the water, he'll be able to keep up with Ruzale pretty well. That's exciting! That is so exciting! Okay, as for these nichelings, let's, I think, first of all, get... Oh, Bequara. She's got six days. I think pregnancy is four days. So she and Iliantma can actually have one more child. And I think she is possibly going to? I don't know, guys. Do we want to? Our food stores are quite low. Maybe we don't want to be doing that. Hmm. Okay, well, Jailbrina, let's get you to grab some berries. We'll get Sith to grab these berries and clear away this piece of grass. Mm, let's see. Bequara. Can Oh, you can grab that coconut. That's cool. That's cool. She can grab the coconut. But she's kind of stuck over here. I don't want to under that coconut tree because that's going to hurt quite a bit, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to just get her to jump into the water, maybe to cool down a little bit. There we go, she's cooling down. And then next time we might even angle her up through these banks. Now we'll get Iliantla to jump this way. Oh! Oh, never mind. That was, that was just... That was a waste, but he grabbed some food. So there we go. Food is very important right now. We will have Jailbrina. You can jump this way, maybe help collect the food and clear up grasses. Apprentice Raka, Apprentice Raka. Hmm. Raka, where can you move? This wasn't a wise move, but she's gonna try some of these platypus beaking thing. She wants to stick pretty close to her master, which is why she angled over this way instead of going around, which probably would have been more useful. And I think Bainold is going to direct her young charge in this direction towards. There we go. This side, the grasses and whatnot, because I do think once everyone gets this area cleared up, they're possibly going to start moving upwards, which will be quite exciting because they'll be going deeper into the island. So there we go. Let's get Daphras to collect up some nuts. There we go. So this is pretty cool. He can collect up nuts and help us that way. We have 50 food, which I like. And let's turn the day. I don't think anyone's on a nest. Nope, but let's turn the day. Okay, there we go. Imla doesn't need training because obviously she is healing material. She will get the title of healer once she ages up into an adult, but she can still use a healing ability until then. She just won't be called Healer Ilfrak until she's a little bit older. So there we go. 
Okay. Ah, we had not too much going on, I think, but we had two new members, very important members, introduced into the wizarding world in this episode. So I'm quite excited about that. And I'm sure you guys will be very excited about the newborn Imla. But guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.